has already been the target of several rounds of EU sanctions. They could be set to intensify as members of the bloc agreed to step up penalties at a summit in Brussels. This just days after Iran fired a barrage of missiles and drones at Israel, an attack the EU strongly condemned. We have decided to put sanctions, to put in place sanctions against uh, Iran. It's a, a clear signal uh, that we want to, to send. And we also want to do everything to protect the civilians. Each civilian life matters. The sanctions will target companies involved in drone and missile production in Iran. Several EU states, including Germany and France, are looking at expanding existing sanctions which curb the supply of Iranian drones to Russia to include weapons deliveries to Tehran's proxies in the Middle East. The country has already been slapped with EU penalties over its human rights abuses, the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and Tehran's support for Russia's war in Ukraine. The president of the European Council is calling for unity in the bloc against Iran. We need to be much more vigilant and we need to cooperate much more. I think that we need to, to, to bring together the tools we have, uh, the European institutions on the one hand, but also the national authorities uh, on the other hand. And it's a clear, a clear uh, uh, signal that uh, we are not naive. Analysts say Iran is unlikely to face more severe economic punishment, with leaders fearing such a move could boost oil prices, potentially angering top buyer China. The new package of sanctions is set to be announced Thursday.